So here I am in my YouTube account that's associated with Hopkins Apps and I'm going to upload a video for you and show you how I do that so that you could get the embed code. So at the top next to your YouTube channel name is an upload button. I click on it and I can drag and drop my video there but I'm just going to choose the select files come from your computer. In general I try to get them on the desktop before I upload them so that it's nice and easy for me to do. And of course I forgot what it's in called. Aha! EmbedVideo.mov. That's my video. So I click open. And right now you're going to notice there's a bar right here that is showing you the progress in uploading that video. But in the meantime, while you're waiting, you can make some changes to the basic settings for that video. So first of all, I'm going to give it a title. By default, it has the file name, but I like to do something a little more formal without that extension at the end. So I would say embedding video in Moodle 2. And then you can write yourself, well, it's not yourself, it's for your audience, a description. So learn how to embed video in any Moodle 2 content page. All right, I just made that up. A tag is often, is a keyword that um, people might um, use to, to stumble upon videos if you make them public. I always make my videos public. You can create some sort of a category that describes your video. And then I am into sharing and Creative Commons is an outlet for sharing your intellectual property. So I change it to that. And then I am going to click on the advanced settings. And there's a lot of little things you can change here, but I usually just deselect the voting on comments. I kind of like the comments. I don't know if it ever got to be a pain, I'd probably deselect that as well, but I sort of like to get the feedback that people um, send me. And then lastly, I've set up playlists that people can subscribe to my various different playlists. You don't necessarily have to do this, but I'm gonna throw this in my Moodle playlist, which you can see the number 26 there. This is the 27th Moodle video that I've uploaded to my YouTube account. Well, lo and behold, while we were waiting, the video ended up processing and there's actually the link to it right here which opens in a new tab it takes a while for it actually to show up on the page but again to get into the um, embed code I just simply click on the share button